Hi, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and I want to remind you that the Veterans 5K this year will be in early November, as in the past. Let's look at some pictures from South Fayetteville. Here we are at World Peace Wetland Prairie looking at, uh, well, that was uh, ironweed, and they're finally blooming uh, more and more. Uh, other places where it rained more, they bloomed a lot. That's the female uh, tiger swallowtail. I showed you pictures of maybe the same one or another one uh, in the previous week, and they're delightful because of the way the, the yellow shows through their dark tint. This old big grasshopper was on World Peace Wetland Prairie this weekend. Well, today's the 22nd. I think I was photographing this guy on the 21st, actually. Anyhow, um, he really is big. On your screen, he looks even bigger, but he's an extremely large grasshopper. That uh, clear wing moth is actually on a thistle that's closer. You can see the moth's clear wing sort of hides part of the uh, the grasshopper. So you know that that moth isn't nearly as big. If it were the other way around, the moth would look pretty tiny. Uh, but anyhow, this, you know, I didn't take time to sort out the name of this, but uh, you can see uh, it's a pretty interesting wetland type plant. I'm not sure what it's going to be. That's, uh, let's see, that's bitterweed, I believe, as opposed to sneezeweed. It's a low growing flower, similar to the other one, but the foliage is quite different. Notice how narrow those leaves are, and this thing only gets a foot or two tall, maybe at the most. And uh, it's beautiful, and suddenly it's popped up after the long drought. That's a non-native thistle. I mean, those things are bristly. Both sides of the leaf is green, and that one is fierce. You really don't want to touch that. I, I avoid touching them, but the the insects need them, the birds eat the seeds and so forth. That's uh, Lonicera sempervirens, the native honeysuckle. That one's bloomed again. This picture's from uh, today, or was it yesterday afternoon? But anyway, it's a beautiful thing in bloom. This uh, is the uh, four o'clock, which actually, I think it's in the afternoon. No, I think it blooms at four o'clock in the morning because you gotta be out there early to see any of them open and I seem to miss them get there at eight o'clock or something you got to be up there at seven uh, that last that yellow thing was uh, a evening primrose and uh, it's a yellow one and there is a, a brighter colored one okay these thistles are native thistles and they have in this case a real uh, bumblebee notice the yellow toward the rear there uh, that's how you can tell. Okay, here's that uh, <laughs> big old swallowtail. There's so many swallowtails, and I've probably made a thousand pictures of swallowtails in, in the last week. That uh, little critter, crit, critter is a dragonfly. That's the same dragonfly after he was pounced on by an insect whose name I can't call at the moment. Also an interesting insect, but it's very predatory. And uh, I actually interfered in nature just a little by poking the, the, the pair with my camera to see if that uh, dragonfly could get away safely. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, there's a close-up of the, the predatory bug looking at me as though I were a villain. He haunted me for a few minutes and probably considered whether he could whip me. Anyway, until next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part, help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green, and respect your insects. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and we've got more pictures from South Fayetteville, most of them from nature. And here's a tiny insect on a thistle whose name I don't know, but uh, he's one of many tiny things, and this one's a lot bigger than some others. And there's a different swallowtail from the ones I've shown you in some of our recent short takes, but I'm not quite sure which one this is. But anyway, it's a beauty. Well, that's Lionel Jordan, mayor of Fayetteville, Arkansas, on the left as you look at this picture. And uh, that's Herman Swafford. He's one of my neighbors, lives down the street. They've known one, one another for years. They were on the square on Saturday. 
There's Lionel Jordan, mayor of Fayetteville, and John Rule. I like to call him Mayor of Frog or Frog Bayou because he owns property down there and lived there for many, many years. And a lot of people know him and love him, including the Forest Service people who manage the national forest around him. Okay, that's a uh, physicalist, uh, something other. People call it a, a ground um, cherry. Anyway, it's it's a strange, uh, interesting plant with uh, seeds in a little pod there. Uh, but a beautiful thing. Okay, those tall plants, twice as tall as I am, uh, are the, um, <coughs> um, excuse me, cup plants. And it's a beautiful thing. You see a lot of pollinators up there on it, but they're way up there. This is a leaf-footed bug, and it seems to have another bug that it's dragging around. And uh, I, I got that just to show a little more predatory activity in nature. There's the big grasshopper again. You can see the white backside or underside of that uh, thistle leaf in that picture. Okay, I've shown quite a few pictures of these over the months this year. And that's a, a silver spot uh, skipper. Well, sometimes I say skipper moth because that's the way I read about them first. But they're sort of in an in-between category. It, in so they, they're just called skippers because they're they're much like butterflies and moths in various characteristics and I'm not sure what the official latest word on or whether they're really in one of those categories there's some people like to call them day flying moths um, that's a helacted bee and this is the male uh, tiger swallowtail world peace wet on prairie of course and um, I think, yeah, here's a, a closer view. And maybe I've got a third view. Uh, can't get enough of these swallowtails. They'll be gone soon enough, and we'll be wanting to see one in the middle of the winter. So forgive me for stressing them so much. Okay, that's a weevil. I like the picture uh, and the color of that uh, thistle. And that's why I chose it. The weevil's not very well uh, shown there. There's a bumblebee, and again, a real bumblebee and not a carpenter bee. I'm not sure I got a carpenter bee in this particular group of photos, but uh, we showed a lot of them recently on short takes. And I think there are two, three, maybe, uh, weevils on that thistle. And those guys are predatory, I understand, and so we're not sure just what they're eating. That's Asclepius hortella. It's a tall green milkweed, and that's one that's in bloom right next to a uh, still in bloom this week. And there you see what uh, the uh, dark phase tiger swallowtail in the back, plus a couple of bumblebees. And of course, here's another one of my favorites, the um, <laughs> the uh, clear wing. Till next time, Mr. Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. And see ya.